Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. As I'm sure you've seen by the title of this video, this is not part three of making an art series. No, sir, it is not. Mostly because I'm still waiting for something to arrive by snail now. But also for me to get that kind of lush, moody vibe I get in my images, I need an overcast day. And lately, it's just mostly been like this. Anyway, while I wait for an overcast day and for that stuff to arrive in the mail, I am going to do a different kind of video, a non-photography related video. So today, I'm going to sculpt stuff. With zero contemplation for what I was actually getting myself into, I thought it would be fun to turn some of my 2D artworks into 3D sculptures. So I took to the old gram and put it to a vote and the people have spoken. And the winner is... Da -da 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 this one! To keep it simple, I'm using air dry clay because I don't have to fire it. As the name suggests, it dries in the air. Let us begin. Before I can even start sculpting, I need to first get the general shape of the body and I'm going to do that by using some armature wire and some alfoil. I quickly printed out a reference photo, but it did not print out correctly because I do not have enough ink in my printer. But we will persist. Persist. We will persist. Okay, I really genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. But let's see how it goes. So I guess I'll just start with the skirt part that comes out onto the ground like so. And then her body kind of comes up here and starts bending over a little bit. Over for the back of her body and that will come down. And then we'll have the skirt out this side. Oh my god, what the hell. I mean, I really, really have no idea what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm gonna try and add a part of the arm. I've seen people do this on YouTube and they make it look really easy. They create like the human body out of this little armature. It's kind of like a stick man, but I don't really know that I wanna create a stick man because I don't know, maybe I should try and create a stick man. But it's not a general stick man, I don't know. Maybe I need some legs to give it some more stability. Maybe I can wrap that there and that there around the bottom. <laughs> Stay standing. Yes! It stands. Okay. <laughs> Feel good. More wire. Now we need to create like the arm that comes down here. I'm gonna cut some wire. Well, that's meant to be her hand. You know what? I'm just going to start putting on the alfoil. Okay. Why is this so hard? So, wrap this around here and around here. I mean, could I not just make this without the armature wire? Maybe I can just use the alfoil instead. I'm not giving up, by the way. I'm still gonna do this. We're gonna make this work. Yes. <laughs> yes. The next day. Good morning, and welcome back to a brand new day. Today, we are actually going to get into the fun part of this video, the part of the video where I actually start sculpting. But before I do that though, I do want to show you this rare beauty that I made yesterday afternoon off camera to save you guys the torture of watching me try and create another mold. Voila! This right here is a true beauty. 
This beautiful monstrosity took me around 20 minutes to make. She is as basic as they come. And if you look at her from around this angle and refer to the reference image that you see up on your screen, I mean, it's basically an exact replica. Am I right or am I right? Okay, seriously, let's start sculpting. I've got the clay, which I am going to need just to reactivate it after it's been sitting in the package for a while. I feel like learning any new skill is a scary thought because I don't want to fail, you know? I want to be able to do this and I want to be able to do it well. But so far, I feel like it's doing okay, you know? Getting a general shape. I do need to fix up her arm. I feel like at the moment it just looks like a monster. A monster blob! The thing with any kind of art is it is always ugly until it's not. Whenever you start any kind of art or creative project, it's always going to look but ugly and you'll be questioning your artistry and your talent and your skills and then all of a sudden out of nowhere it will start blossoming and it will look beautiful and you'll just be amazed at yourself and how you created something from nothing. It's a beautiful thing. Creativity and art. Sculpting boobies feels inappropriate. They're not looking good. And I think I need to do some studies on the human form, clearly. It's not looking good. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. One thing that I do like about taking photographs is I'm only having to worry about one angle. With 3D sculptures, I have to think about the thing as a whole all the way around in a circular fashion. Oh god. I know. I think her arm is too long, so I'm gonna cut it. Ugh. Okay, I just had a lunch break and now I'm going to get back into it. I was thinking while eating lunch that I might actually work on the skirt part now. I feel like if I can nail the skirt and get the detailing of all that looking really good, it will give me the encouragement to go on and do the hair and the body parts. So that is the plan and that is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start by rolling out a big piece of flat clay. Kind of working, right? I really don't know why I give myself the hardest possible challenge whenever I'm learning a new skill. Go with something easy, make a pot, make a vase. But no, I have to go straight into making something difficult.
<laughs> oh my god. How is this happening? What on earth? Can I can make it smaller. Cut you in half. What? On earth? What's happening? Stop sticking! Ah, oh, this is so hard. Welcome back to day three. I ended up doing some sculpting last night off camera. As I'm sure you can see, she does look very different. I ended up cutting off the torso and her arms because it was just getting in the way when I was trying to do the skirt. So I have now finished off the skirt. I've done some detailing on it, which I'm not sure how I feel about. And then I'm gonna add the torso and the arms on separately and a head too. This is the torso that I've sculpted. From this angle, I've just noticed it actually looks like the top of an alligator head. However, I am pretty happy with how it's turned out. I am going to be attaching that like here somehow. And then I want to try and curve the back down a little bit more so that it's got that like ridiculously overarching back. B B Ridiculously overarched back is what I was trying to say. But yes, I am now going to attempt to attach the torso slash alligator head to the body. Okay. Wish me luck. Golly. Okay, her arms are looking ridiculously long, but I kind of like it. It's almost like a really elongated person. She's got a very long back and I kind of like that her arms go all the way across her body and they're really thin and long. So I think I'm just gonna stick with it. Okay, all that's left to do is the head and the hair. And I am going to admit, I have been dreading this part. I don't know how to sculpt the face. At the moment, it's looking a bit more like a turtle head. Let's start again. The two eye sockets here. This is so bad. How did they all do this? Hello. Today. <laughs> it looks so stupid. I kind of just want to leave it because it's so funny, you know? This is fantastic. This is just. <laughs> I 
I feel like this is the most fun I've had since I started this sculpture. Okay, this is the face I'm going with just purely because it's too funny not to. Are you ready for the reveal? Yep, this is the face I'm going with. Technically, you can't see the front of the image that I took. So nobody actually knows what kind of face is on this. So the face that I have created very well could actually be like this. Just don't know. You know what this has reminded me of? You know the the skeleton, like the skeleton Yoshis out of Super Mario. Is it the other Yoshis? I can't remember their name. But the face is reminding me of those for some very strange reason. <laughs> this is awesome. I love that the face is not human. I love it. I have a confession to make. I don't think I want to cover the face with hair. I feel like if I do put hair on it, it is going to get lost in translation that this is some weird creature. And I love the fact that this is some weird creature. I know that I was meant to be turning one of my images into a three-dimensional sculpture, but the thing is, I can't. I just can't do it. I love this face. I feel protective of this weird face that I've created. My precious. So I'm breaking the rules of my own challenge and leaving it as is. So now I'm just gonna leave it to dry for a few days, then I'm going to sand it, I'm going to paint it, I'm going to varnish it, and then it will be done. If you are still here, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope that this has been as entertaining for you as it has been for me. And now it is time for the final reveal. And there you have it folks, the end of another project, imperfectly perfect as it were. The perfectionist in me wishes it was a little bit smoother on the surface. But for whatever reason, while I was sanding it, I just couldn't get a lot of the little indents and stuff out. I think what I need to do is be smoothing it out as much as I can while the clay is still wet. But that is something for me to try on the next one. If you haven't already subscribed and you feel like sticking around, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. Goodbye for now, my art-loving friends. Mwah!